Islamic modernism is a movement that has been described as the first Muslim ideological response, attempting to reconcile Islamic faith with modern values such as nationalism, democracy, civil rights, rationality, equality, and progress. It featured a critical re-examination of the classical conceptions and methods of jurisprudence and a new approach to Islamic theology and Quranic exegesis tafsir. .It was the first of several Islamic movements, including secularism, Islamism, and Salafism, that emerged in the middle of the 19th century in reaction to the rapid changes of the time, especially the perceived onslaught of Western civilization and colonialism on the Muslim world. Founders include Muhammad Abdu, a sheikh of Al-Azhar University for a brief period before his death in 1905, Jamal ad-Din al-Afghani, and Muhammad Rashid Rida d. 1935. The early Islamic modernists al-Afghani and Muhammad Abdu used the term Salafia to refer to their attempt at renovation of Islamic thought, and this Salafia movement is often known in the West as Islamic modernism, although it is very different from what is currently called the Salafi movement, which generally signifies ideologies such as Wahhabism. Since its inception, modernism has suffered from co option of its original reformism by both secularist rulers and by the official Alama, whose task it is to legitimize rulers actions in religious terms modernism differs from secularism in that it insists on the importance of religious faith in public life and from salafism or islamism in that it embraces contemporary european institutions social processes and values one expression of Islamic modernism expressed by Mahathir Muhammad is that only when Islam is interpreted so as to be relevant in a world which is different from what it was 1,400 years ago can Islam be regarded as a religion for all ages. <laughs> Overview Topic. Salafism and modernism The origins of Salafism in the modernist Salafi movement of Jamal al-Din al-Afghani and Muhammad Abdu are noted by many authors, although others say Islamic modernism only influenced contemporary Salafism. According to Quinton Wiktorovich, there has been some confusion in recent years because both the Islamic modernists and the contemporary Salafis refer referred to themselves as al-Salafiyya, leading some observers to erroneously conclude a common ideological lineage. The earlier Salafiyya modernists, however, were predominantly rationalist Topic. Trends. Some trends in modern Islamic thought include the acknowledgement, with varying degrees of criticism or emulation, of the technological, scientific and legal achievements of the West, while at the same time objecting to Western colonial exploitation of Muslim countries and the imposition of Western secular values and aiming to develop a modern and dynamic understanding of science among Muslims that would strengthen the Muslim world and prevent further exploitation. Invocation of Maqasid al-Sharia or objectives of the Sharia Islamic law in support of Maslaha i.e. public interest, a secondary source for Islamic jurisprudence which was invoked and expanded by Islamic reformists in many parts of the globe to justify initiatives not addressed in classical commentaries but regarded as of urgent political and ethical concern. 
Reinterpreting traditional Islamic law using the four traditional sources of Islamic jurisprudence, the Quran, the reported deed and saying of Muhammad a hadith, consensus of the theologians and juristic reasoning by analogy and also ijtihad. Taking and reinterpreting the first two sources the Quran and a hadith to transform the last two IJMA and Kiyos in order to formulate a reformist project in light of the prevailing standards of scientific rationality and modern social theory." Restricting traditional Islamic law by limiting its basis to the Quran and authentic Sunnah, limiting the Sunnah with radical Hadith criticism. Employing ijtihad not to only in the traditional, narrow way to arrive at legal rulings in unprecedented cases where Quran, Hadith, and rulings of earlier jurists are silent, but for critical independent reasoning in all domains of thought, and perhaps even approving of its use by non-jurists. A more or less radical re interpretation of the authoritative sources. This is particularly the case with the Quranic texts on polygyny, the had penal punishments, jihad, and treatment of unbelievers, banning of interest on loans riba, which conflict with modern views. On the issue of jihad, modernists such as Muhammad Abdu and Rashid Rida, took a different line than traditionalist classicist. Scholars, emphasizing that jihad was allowed only as defensive warfare to respond to aggression or perfidy against the Muslim community, and that the normal and desired state between Islamic and non Islamic territories was one of peaceful coexistence. According to Mahmoud Shaltit and other modernists, unbelief was not sufficient cause for declaring jihad. The conversion to Islam by unbelievers in fear of death at the hands of jihadists was unlikely to prove sincere or lasting. Much preferable means of conversion was education. They pointed to the verse, No compulsion is there in religion. Quran 2 256. On the issue of Reba, Syed Ahmad Khan, Fazlur Rahman Malik, Muhammad Abdu, Rashid Rida, Abdl Razak El Sanhuri, Muhammad Asad, Mahmud Shaltout all took issue with the jurist orthodoxy that any and all interest was Reba and forbidden, believing that there was a difference between interest and usury. An apologetic which links aspects of the Islamic tradition with Western ideas and practices, and claims Western practices in question were originally derived from Islam. Islamic apologetics has however been severely criticized by many scholars as superficial, tendentious and even psychologically destructive, so much so that the term, apologetics has almost become a term of abuse in the literature on modern Islam. <laughs> History of modernism Commencing in the late 19th century and impacting the 20th century, Muhammad Abdu and Rashid Rida undertook a project to defend and modernize Islam to match Western institutions and social processes. Its most prominent intellectual founder, Muhammad Abdu d. 1323 r. 1905 CE, was Sheikh of Al Azhar University for a brief period before his death. This project superimposed the world of the 19th century on the extensive body of Islamic knowledge that had accumulated in a different milieu. These efforts had little impact at first, however were catalyzed with the demise of the Ottoman Caliphate in 1924 and promotion of secular liberalism, particularly with a new breed of writers being pushed to the fore including Egyptian Ali Abd al-Razik's publication attacking Islamic politics for the first time in Muslim history. 
Subsequent secular writers including Farag Foda, Al-Ashmawi, Muhammad Khalifala, Taha Hussain, Hussain Amin, A. Al, have argued in similar tones, Abdu was skeptical towards hadith or traditions, i.e. towards the body of reports of the teachings, doings, and sayings of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, particularly towards those traditions that are reported through few chains of transmission, even if they are deemed rigorously authenticated in any of the six canonical books of hadith known as the Qutb al-Sitar. Furthermore, he advocated a reassessment of traditional assumptions even in hadith studies, though he did not devise a systematic methodology before his death. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Influence on Muslim Brotherhood. The early Salafia Modernists influenced Islamist movements like Muslim Brotherhood and to some extent Jamaat-e-Islami. The MB is considered an intellectual descendant of Islamic modernism. Its founder Hassan al-Banna was influenced by Muhammad Abdu and Rashid Rida who attacked the taklid of the official backquote alama and insisted only the Quran and the best attested ahadith should be sources of the sharia. He was a dedicated reader of the writings of Rashid Rida and the magazine that Rida published, Al Manna. As Islamic modernist beliefs were co opted by secularist rulers and official alama, the Brotherhood moved in a traditionalist and conservative direction. Being the only available outlet for those whose religious and cultural sensibilities had been outraged by the impact of westernization, Muhammadiyah The Indonesian Islamic organization Muhammadiyah was founded in 1912. Described as Islamic modernist, it emphasized the authority of the Quran and the Hadiths, opposing syncretism and taklid to the ulama. However, as of 2006, it is said to have veered sharply toward a more conservative brand of Islam." Under the leadership of Din Syamsuddin the head of the Indonesian Alema Council. <laughs> Connection with the contemporary Salafism Jamal ad-Din al-Afghani, Muhammad Abdu, Muhammad Rashid Rida and, to a lesser extent, Muhammad al-Ghazali took some ideals of Wahhabism, such as endeavor to «return» to the Islamic understanding of the first Muslim generations Salaf by reopening the doors of juristic deduction that they saw as closed. Some historians believe modernists used the term «Salafia» for their movement although this is strongly disputed by at least one scholar, Henry Lausier. Toward the end of the 20th century, however, the term, Salafi movement, became associated with the Wahhabism, and strongly antithetical to Islamic modernism which is saw as forbidden innovation Bidda. Abu Amar Yazir Qadi writes, Rashid Rida popularized the term Salafi to describe a particular movement i.e., Islamic modernism that he spearheaded. That movement sought to reject the ossification of the Madhabs, and rethink through the standard issues of fiqh and modernity, at times in very liberal ways. A young scholar by the name of Muhammad Nasiruddin al-Albani read an article by Rida, and then took this term and used it to describe another, completely different movement. Ironically, the movement that Rida spearheaded eventually became modernist Islam and dropped the Salafi label, and the legal methodology that al-Albani championed, with a very minimal overlap with Rida's vision of Islam, retained the appellation Salafi. Eventually, Al-Albani's label was adopted by the Naidi Dawah as well, until it spread in all trends of the movement. 
Otherwise, before this century, the term Salafi was not used as a common label and proper noun. Therefore, the term Salafi has attached itself to an age-old school of theology, the Athari school. Sheikh Nuh Ha Mim Keller writes, the term Salafi was revived as a slogan and movement, among Latter-day Muslims, by the followers of Muhammad Abdu. <laughs> Islamic modernists Although, not all of the figures named below are from the above-mentioned movement, they all share a more or less modernist thought or, and approach. Abdulraf Fitrat, Uzbekistan, then Russia. Ahmed Dalan, Indonesia. Ali Shariati, Iran. Chirar Ali, India. Farag Forda, neo-modernist, Egypt. Gabdanasir Ibrahim Uli Kursori, Russia. Jamal Al Din Al Afghani, Afghanistan or Persia, Iran. Mahmoud Muhammad Taha, neo modernist, Sudan. Mahmoud Shaltout, Egypt. Mahmoud Tazi, Afghanistan. Malik Benabi, Algeria. Muhammad Al Ghazali, Egypt. Muhammad Abdu, Egypt. Muhammad Ahmed Khalifala, Egypt. Muhammad Iqbal, India, later Pakistan. Muhammad al Tahir ibn Ashur, Tunisia. Musa Jarala Bigayev, Russia. Qasim Amin, Egypt. Rashid Rida, Egypt. Shibli Nomani, India. Syed Ahmad Khan, India. Syed Amir Ali, India. Wang Jingzhai, China. Topic: Contemporary modernists. Abdul Wahab Medeb, France. Abdinor Baidar, France. Gamal Al Banna, Egypt. Javed Ahmed Ghamidi, Pakistan. Muhammad Tahir Al Qadri, Pakistan. Soheb Benchaik, France. Tariq Ramadan, Switzerland. Wahiduddin Khan, India. Abdusad Abdi, Somalia. Irshad Manji, Canada. Topic: Contemporary use. Topic: Pakistan. According to at least one source, Charles Kennedy, in Pakistan the range of views on the appropriate role of Islam in that country, as of 1992, contains Islamic modernists at one end of the spectrum and Islamic activists at the other. Islamic activists support the expansion of Islamic law and Islamic practices. Islamic modernists are lukewarm to this expansion and some may even advocate development along the secularist lines of the West. Topic: Criticism. Orthodox, traditionalists Muslims strongly opposed modernism as bidder and the most dangerous heresy of the day, for its association with westernization and western education. Supporters of Salafi movement considered modernists neo Mutazila, after the medieval Islamic school of theology based on rationalism, Mutazila. Critics argue that the modernist thought is little more than the fusion of Western secularism with spiritual aspects of Islam. 
Other critics have described the modernist positions on politics in Islam as ideological stances. One of the leading Islamist thinkers and Islamic revivalists, Abullah Allah Mordidi, agreed with Islamic modernists that Islam contained nothing contrary to reason, and was superior in rational terms to all other religious systems. However he disagreed with them in their examination of the Quran and the Sunnah using reason as the standard. Mordidi, instead started from the proposition that backquote true reason is Islamic backquote, and accepted the book and the Sunnah, not reason, as the final authority. Modernists erred in examining rather than simply obeying the Quran and the Sunnah. Critics argue politics is inherently embedded in Islam, a rejection of the Christian and secular principle of render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. They claim that there is a consensus in Muslim political jurisprudence, philosophy and practice with regard to the caliphate form of government with a clear structure comprising a caliph, assistants governors judges and administrators It is argued that Muslim jurists have tended to work with the governments of their times. Notable examples are Abu Yusuf, Muhammad ibn al-Hassan, Shafi'i, Yahya bin Said, Abu Hamid al-Ghazali, Ismail bin Yasser, Ibn Tulun, Abu Zura, Abu Hassan al-Mawadi and Tabari. Prominent theologians would counsel the caliph in discharging his Islamic duties, often on the request of the incumbent caliph. Many rulers provided patronage to scholars across all disciplines, the most famous being the Abbasids who funded extensive translation programs and the building of libraries. See also Islam and modernity Islamism Islamic revival Liberal Muslim movements Modern Islamic philosophy Muslim reform movement Liberal and progressive Muslim movements Reform religion equals equals notes <laughs>